Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily, I'm the full-time data scientist who has a huge interest in high-end and luxury makeup. Today we're going to talk about the online Sephora order I finally received. And there are two products, one is the 52 Rowan eyeshadow palette and one is the Kaja setting mist. And uh, if you want to see my review on those two products, then just uh, please keep on watching. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. I would really appreciate that. The first product I'm going to mention here is the Kaja Hydrating Face Mist. It is described as an ultra-fine face mist that hydrates and refreshes skin for a dewy glow. Some highlighted ingredients for this product is pineapple extract coconut extract and hyaluronic acid and uh, this product is free of paraben flakes and sulfates also there contains some coconut sparkling water and the glycerins for like nourishing and hydrating purpose uh, it, you can use this mist alone or over the makeup on all skin types for me I think this nozzle is pretty hard to use like you have to pretty like use it if you have you have to press it pretty hard in order to spray it it's not like a continuous spray so you have to like one pump two pump three pump in order to actually properly hydrate your skin there is like a kind of pina colada -y scent and i think there's like a mix with strawberries for me personally but it's kind of sweet and if you're not a fan of that scent this wouldn't be something like really nice scent for you. One of the good thing that I really like about this spray is like it's really like the size is perfect. You can bring it to work or like just bring it anywhere. Like during summertime, especially if it's too hot and you, f you feel like your face is kind of dry and need some boost. This is the perfect thing to carry with you. Now we're going to talk about the 52 Rowan palette. It is uh, described as a must-have eyeshadow palette with four cool tone wearable shades to flatter around all skin tones. And uh, this product is considered as a vegan, cruelty-free, and gluten-free product, and it's labeled as a clean brand at Sephora. Now I'm going to give you some swatches of each color on my hand. Uh, those are the four colors. So there are no like matches, all of them are pretty like creamy kind of shade and uh, they all contain some uh, silver glitter. Actually, those three shades contain the silver glitters and the last one actually contains some gold uh, glitters. Those sh four shades are pretty cohesive and you can complete a pretty nice cohesive eye, cool tone eye look with it. Alright, I've already applied everything except for eyes and lips makeup on my face and as usual, I will list everything I've used down in the description box below. And now I'm going to apply for the Rome 52 eyeshadow quad. I think I'm going to use the, the burgundy, the brown and the pinkish color. Because this is the more like a cream formula, I'm not sure if it will apply great with the eyeshadow brush, but uh, I will actually first like using a pretty dense brush to see how it applies with a brush first so in that case I'm going to grab the refer number two as you can see it's pretty dense brush now I will grab the kind of brownish color first and uh, to make sure it's evenly coated on the brush it actually pick up quite a lot of product I will apply on the lid. I kind of want to use it as a transition shade. I don't know if you can see but like all the glitters are kind of clumped together. Those are not really easy to blend. Actually let me find a larger brush compared to that one it's kind of looser. So I'm going to use this Tom Ford number 11 brush and I'm going to grab the same shade here just to test if this applies any better. The way the brush grab this product isn't really isn't the isn't really what I really want. I mean it applies pretty well but 
I will just use my finger on the other eye to as a comparison to see if it's actually better to use a finger. Curl it pretty well. Yeah, actually, I think I prefer using a finger way much better than using just a brush. I think this palette is pretty nice. One color, kind of the whole eye look palette. I think just using this brown color is actually looking really nice. I'll actually grab back of this Tom Ford number 11 brush and just to grab a little bit of product, not too much, just a little bit, and uh, try to blend the edge a little bit to make sure everything is nice and blended. And then I'm going to pop a little bit of this pinky color in the middle to make it look kind of the halo. Halo. Is that called a halo eye? I think it's called a halo eye. And now I'm going to use this kind of purple burgundish color on my lower lash line. So I will grab this Tarte eyeshadow brush and uh, grab a little bit of the product here. And then uh, apply it along the lower lash line. It's not really picking up too much of the product. And make sure it's nicely and blend it's nicely blended. Now I'm going to use this teeny tiny reference number three brush and grab back to this pinky little color and uh, use as an inner corner pop. and then apply a little bit under the brow bone. Yep, and I think that's all for my eyeshadow part. And uh, I'm going to quickly apply some eyeliner. Yep, that's everything for my eye makeup. And now I'm going to use the Kaja Mist Me number one Pina Colada Hydrating Face Mist. I don't think you need to shake this product, but you can just like. Oh, I seriously, I'm not a fan of the nozzle here. Like the mist isn't fine enough. It's quite strong, but the good thing is like it's actually dry pretty fast and. Uh, there is a scent. It reminds me, it's it's like pina colada -y, but it's like has a hint of strawberry for some reason. It's quite strong when you first like spray it, but uh, it's getting better. Kind of like the scent can actually fade away. Final step, I will apply some lipsticks. So recently I just bought another lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Walk of No Shame because I really like the tester I got and I just went to Sephora and bought the full size. Yep, 
that's it for today's look now i'm gonna give you my final thoughts regarding those two products for the kaja setting mist i think the size is really portable and easy to bring with you to like kind of give your face a hydrating kind of a boost whenever you feel you need it but i wouldn't use this to set my makeup because i think uh, I, first of all, I think that the spray, the nozzle part is kind of annoying because you just need to keep pressing hard and the mist isn't that cohesive and secondly, the mist isn't that fine in my opinion and uh, there is like a pina colada scent some people may love, may love it, but some people may hate it it's like a really personal preference but for me, I think it's like a okay product overall it's definitely not something like my absolutely fave or would, I would like to recommend to everyone because I do think there are better products in the market like the watermelon mist from the glow recipe and I also heard great things about the hourglass setting mist one like if you want to buy over all hydrating mist this might be a good option for you but if you're trying to buy a product that can probably set your skin I wouldn't recommend this one on the other hand for their own 52 cool tone palette, I think this is a great, great palette. The color is just like really cohesive and uh, if you're a cool tone fan, you will definitely love this palette. The colors are not that easy to use using the brush, but it's pretty easy to use your finger to apply. And the color staying power isn't bad either. Like I applied once, the color actually fades a little bit, but not too much. It still gives you a pretty natural kind of look so that's something I really like and uh, if you're a beginner that's a really friendly way to use this eyeshadow palette it's, re it's really easy to use and uh, if you are like in a rush in the morning you want a pop of color but you don't really have time this is also a great option for you as well so overall I think I really really love this product and I would like to recommend to uh, to you guys if you really like a cool tone palette uh, that's it for my video. Thanks you guys for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. I really appreciate that. I will see you in my next one. Bye!